For the past six months or so, we've been watching video blogs or vlogs, uh, people that are living on boats, um, sites like um, Searching for Seashells or Mermaid Monsters. Yeah, they've been really fun and inspirational to see what's possible and what's coming. We've learned lots of bits and pieces, like maybe your parts don't last as long as you think they are because you're using them continuously. Yeah, and so we thought one of the things that we haven't found is how to get from point A to point B. In other words, from being landlubbers, and we own houses and condos and cars and, and children. Children. <laughs> <laughs> and getting to the point where we're living on board a boat. So we thought we'd put together a, a vlog um, talking about we have a two-year plan to get from where we are now to ultimately living on a boat. 2.4 year plan. A what? 2.4 year plan. 2.4? <laughs> <clears throat> it's nice to see it laid out, and there's a lot of things that need to happen before before we can make this a reality. Like selling our home, selling our car, selling everything we own, putting everything into storage, um, launching, retiring. Launching my children at <laughs> the college. Or so wherever. join us as we go through this whole process of learning, discovering, buying a boat. Um, we're going to have some fun. We'd love to have you join us. Our classroom is a 32-foot Nordic tug we've named Three Ravens. She's kept in Mallets Bay, Vermont. But being in northern Vermont, it's very uncomfortable, if not impossible, to work on a boat during the winter. So we've chosen to put her in an enormous aluminum shed that's heated in the winter, allowing us access all winter long. The shed houses 60 boats jammed together, stern to bow, and beam to beam. And there we are, tucked in the corner. Looks sort of small compared to these huge other boats. So I uh, put some new chain on and then put it all back down in the hold and then realized I forgot to anchor the bottom of the chain so that it all doesn't go out. So I had to pull the chain back out so I could get to the bottom of the chain to anchor it to the boat. Oh I'm putting the chain back in. But quite frankly, most of the time we just sit around and long for the return of summer here in Vermont. Join us next time when we'll talk about some of the regular maintenance that needs to happen. Hope to see you soon. <laughs>